for the panel with the Secretary General and Liz um, goes to, uh, it's called the Benchmarking for Change Leadership Award. Um, and like me, people in this room who care about this will be excited to hear about our next WEPS Award recipient. It recognizes a company with a passion for indicators, for sex disaggregated data, and for reporting. Um, and we're going to hear in a moment how L'Oreal Group's Chairman and CEO Jean-Paul Agon, recipient of the Benchmark for Change Award, does that. And in his accepting the award for Jean-Paul is Emmanuel Lulin, Chief Ethics Officer for L'Oreal. Let's welcome Emmanuel. You will hear Jean-Paul Agon uh, made a video because he's absent today. He excused himself. Um, he's in uh, Asia at the moment. Uh, Jean-Paul Agon always uh, tell us, if you believe in it, uh, do it. And as a CEO of the world leader in beauty, uh, Jean-Paul Agon knows that nothing is too beautiful for gender equality. So didn't, he didn't ask for permission. He asked us not to ask for permission and just to move on. Um, I would like just to mention two, uh, two programs that uh, we, we are doing or that we did. The first one we started 18 years ago. It is interesting because it is a program that has been uh, developed with one of the major agencies of, uh, of the UN, UNESCO. And uh, this program is about the recognition of women scientists. We uh, identify very early on that there is not enough women scientists. In fact, only 26% at the time of women in science of, uh, sorry, scientists were uh, women. And we developed a program to um, recognize women uh, scientists. As of today, just to give you a precise number, uh, we have recognized 2,500 uh, women from 111 different uh, countries. Two of them subsequently uh, won the Nobel Prize and one his um, president of her country. The second program is the most recent one I would like to, uh, uh, to mention. It is a program about uh, helping women, encouraging women to, uh, 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 to develop businesses. And we are, uh, uh, we are working especially with um, economic victims, victims of violence, um, single mothers, displaced persons for many reasons, including uh, political reasons, people in difficulties from under the underprivileged uh, areas, in underprivileged communities. And uh, we work on their social integration by giving them a real job, training them, uh, tuition fees for several months, and then we'll help them to develop a business so they become role models in their communities. They become, it's a, this program is a game changer, it's a life changer. As of today, uh, recently we have developed 23 partnerships with NGOs. This year we have 2,700 beneficiaries in 20 different countries. And this is typically the type of program that we wish to scale up and develop with UN Women. <clears throat> 